I thought you might like to see my new wall winder. I've had to order another one. Now, my regular viewers will probably laugh at me because I had a plastic one years ago. I couldn't find it. I had to replace it last year and I can't find my other one. So what my plan is, um, I'm going to, if I find the plastic one, I'll use it as a travel one and the wooden one will be the one for, for keeping at home. If I do eventually find the first one I bought, then I'll probably sell it on or something but uh but yeah so i've always wanted the wooden one in all honesty but they're normally quite expensive for what i wanted to pay but i found one that was just such an amazing cheap price and it was from bajur de france and this is it so i'm going to attempt putting it together right i've set up the camera so i can do a an unboxing hopefully this is filming because i can't actually see if it is or not <laughs> fingers crossed right it says open all the pack parts which that's what i've done pull the yarn glider on the yarn glider base and this is the picture so i think this is what it means it's this and this because that's what it looks like on the photograph i don't know if it screws on well it does that does look like it's got a screw end on there so let's have a look try and not cross thread this mm, it feels a bit tight like do you know when it makes you wonder am i uh doing this right I think that's as tight as that is going to go. It doesn't, it just seems to be spinning now. It doesn't seem to be um, getting any tighter. Now, I'm not sure. There is a picture here. And I don't know if they're showing that that's attached at this point. Ah, I think it's this. Hopefully, I'm going to, I can't see what you can see here. I think it's here. So I don't know if. Ah, right, okay. This unscrews. There was a bit of oil in my package. Because there's some oil here. I think it's leaked. Screw this back on. Now, on the picture, it looks quite tilted. But it doesn't with you know it looks very upright maybe it's just the diagram it's ah right i jumped ahead i went from there to there i should have looked at step one so i should have put that on first then put that onto there right okay now number three put the driver wheel over the small shaft okay let's have a look right my husband's back now so i'm going to have to stop the video i'll come back to you right the next stage says put the driver wheel over the small shaft but that's already came on it, so I don't need to do that. Then step four says put the main winder um, assembly over the big shaft. So that's number four. And I don't really understand that either, other than the picture, that looks like it's that way on the picture. So maybe it's talking about something. But it is, there's the circles. I don't really know what they mean. But I think they're meant to have diagrams in them, I don't know. Step five, put the bobbin spore on the main metal, metal shaft. Right. I think you're going to have to remove that. Oh. 
Well, in all honesty, that won't go on because this is getting in the way. So maybe I've got to come on at an angle. That doesn't seem to work either, but actually, they, they're, they're showing you the hand. There's a hand under here. Can you see this? Sorry. There's a hand there. So I'll have a look. Maybe it lifts up. Ah, yes, it does look. That lifts up. So now that will go on. Right. <laughs> So step six, please insert the rubber cord to the main winder assembly. Well, that is already on, so I haven't got to worry about that. Step seven, please use the Allen key to tighten or um, tighten the screw of the wood cone. So, well, I haven't got an Allen key. It, it didn't come with one, so maybe I haven't got to do that. Right, step eight. Use clamp to hold jumbo. No, use clamp to hold jumbo yarn winder. Ah, right, okay, it's that. So that is how you attach this to the table. I'll show you in the picture. See there? It works like that. So yeah, I'll have a go at that. Um, I'm not going to fix it here. I'm going to fix it upstairs. So I'll come back to you. It's all ready to go. So I've threaded it through the hole and then onto here and then I'm going to turn it. See if it works. right i'm going to have to unravel the ball in a moment so and keep an eye on it so i can't film at the same time but i'll come back when it's bigger and there we go it's all wound up lovely and then you can wind your yarn from, um from the middle to start working on it 